How's it? I don't know. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the Okay, it's April 1st, 2024. <sighs> Monday. So, it's April Fool's Day. Mm. Uh, I'm not really planning to do all the trickery or... I don't know, I don't got any trickery too much. But there's always that thing in the back of the mind when, you know, young days in school... Oh, table rules day, I gotta play a trick on somebody. You know, mm. Nowadays, you know, I, mm, not that <laughs> play tricks, you guys are an adult, <laughs> tricks don't fly very well. <laughs> Anyhow, it's April Fool's Day, however that comes about. It's also Monday. It's Mongoose Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I, you know, there's all this politics in the air, and Easter's just over with. Actually, Easter Day, Easter Sunday, is over with. But in the liturgical calendar, he told me of the Roman Catholic, he told me, he told me, goes to. It's a free app, unless you want more words than you don't need. Anyways. There's actually an Easter season, so there's like the first Sunday of Easter, the second Sunday of Easter, the third Sunday of Easter. I think it goes for eight Sundays. I, I'm pretty sure it's like that. Just like there was Lent on Ash Wednesday, and it's the preparing for Easter season, and the Islamics got the Ramadan and the fasting and prayer because they're plagiarists. <laughs> That's bad. I don't care. I'm not monetized anyway. So anyhow, there's blah blah. And there's Easter season, and uh, I don't know what what gives. I mean, I was just thinking, you know, because of this no energy uh, dying and resurrection um, core theme of Christianity thing going on. I, was, I thought of an old friend that had passed away in 2020, February, you know, just uh, 2020. And and when this, it was a dear friend, and it's four years ago now. And uh, I remember uh, her name is Marguerite, so love you, Marguerite. And, 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 uh, I mean, when she passed away, I mean, and she was elder and um, caught some uh, pneumonia type thing in Texas. And it was right when COVID began. So it did make me scratch my head, but she was outside exposed to the elements and a little bit too much. And that's what did it. And then she didn't get immediate attention. So uh, early prevention, another theme. So, uh, you know, she was in the hospital and all. And I was just calling somebody up on the phone in Texas and he knew her too. And we were scrambling about when she was like in the hospital and she didn't want to be in the hospital. She just wanted to just driving to the church parking lot and let me die. It was like, it was all kind of tug of emotional uh, crisis kind of thing. But uh, um, I don't know, just thinking about her and this little uh, painting I did for her. But then there was all kinds of spiritual stuff happening, like as in paranormal, unexplainable, what was that events. You know, because as she was lying in the hospital and it was sort of just before, you know, she passed, you know, uh, uh, my friend, I was in Honolulu, he's in Texas, and he's like, all authorized to do so is like trying to get some of these things out of her, like these paintings, actually they're paintings of mine, just go into the house, get your paintings, Marguerite tells me. So my friend went to the house and it was, and it's nighttime, and the house is a little overgrown, she liked to have things with animals and plants and so the hot, uh, around it's overgrown and, and it's just nighttime and he goes in with his girlfriend and it's and there's spooky noises inside he thought there was somebody inside the house and we were going over that fine tooth comb like you know and also there was other other strange 
events. Anyways, I was just marrying Marguerite. We're talking about all that stuff. Thinking about the paranormal. And, um, and down how come six people stop stuff? Anyways, uh, yeah, that's that. Because I don't want to, I'm tired of Trump and his damn politics, honestly. And, uh, talking about all that crap is, I mean, it's important because it's U.S. history and I took a lot of political science, but, you know, he's, I mean, I think the courts are going to slam him hard and then there's going to be a, like even a conviction before the next presidential election general election next this year in november and either people i mean as long as it's a fair vote if people see this guy as somebody they want to choose to vote for freaking it's a free vote go what you spend your vote on that but if they can't see the consequences of this person and what he promised how he he delineated how he's gonna dis basically destroy free election and how he's going to implement basically a sort of police state there's this agenda 2025 agenda and oh my god i mean if if you don't get that and you still want to vote uh, for that guy, I mean, damn, but let Americans vote. But um, I hope he just gets, I think he's going to get trounced big time, landslide, because he's going to be sitting there with convictions. And people said if he gets convicted of something, I ain't I'm going to vote for whoever else. And so I think Americans should take their voting seriously and really self-contemplate some of them not like that but there's this big bait and it's all about money too so anyways i ran it up you know i did find the paper chat i don't know what's going on but let's look in hawaii news. um yeah affordability is still a challenge because <laughs> houses here it's hawaii and it's limited space so Maui County ranks the third most expensive area to purchase a home. Um, forget the Easter Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> forget everything about Easter, I guess. It's all about money. Young teachers took early advanced paths to education. So I was in the uh, education field. Now I renounce it similar to renouncing Satan. <laughs> I renounce Satan and all his evil deeds. The education system is much like that. There's many good teachers. There's really qualified people that are good teachers. And, and it's about the students learning and enjoying and feeling safe about learning and, and actually like and doing the work and parents being involved. But apparently there's money in politics in this too. It's like a political game and there's, you know, who gets the money and, um, but this one, this one's like, oh, look, I was uh, uh, teaching early, so I get confused with my student. I'm a sixth grade teacher of English, and I get, frequently get mistaken for a student. Please go. So the teacher is mistakenly um, uh, mistaken for a sixth grader. <laughs> Help me. You know, kids will relate to younger. I don't know. It's the age gap thing, too. Kids don't like relate to old people unless they're like their grandmother. <laughs> Decades in the making. March Madness is still an extra. So April, uh, first week sure. of April is the end of March Madness. So they're finally the colleges are gonna uh, decide who's the best hip hopper in the courts. Baseball to me is just like I mean basketball. Basketball to me is just like equivalent to hip hop rappers. And, uh oh, Godzilla left here up at Blockbuster stock. Godzilla versus Kong, a new empire. That's yeah. Okay, enough CGI <laughs> with that stuff. I mean, you know, I just relax. Remember back in the day in 1976 when you wanted to relax and just go into uh, walk around this giant mechanized industrial age. I me meant it. I meant I, I know the ghost is missing. This is the Kahuku Sugar Mill. Will soon mark its second opening. This time is a major North Shore visitor attraction. The old iron machinery is the same as the priory for, de for debut 85 years ago. In the past, the Kahuku Sugar Mill will offer World of Sugar Tour 
1930s shown in the movie screen. Then 1971, this chapter developer Blackfield Hawaii stepped in to plan to restore and repurpose the mill. And this mill is actually officially shut down. They closed this little sugar mill. It's like no stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. I used to take ghost um, town pictures. Ghost as ghost town as in abandoned. And that was one of the pictures I took. And it should have Local cartoon. Supreme Court. Also, family planning clinic. Da, 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 da. Because the courts are deciding how reproductive health is decided in your friendly neighborhood. Possessed. Possessed. They're possessed for power. And they're corrupt. Whatever. <laughs> what's, what's the use? How about a little finger on the pulse? I want to talk. You want to talk? Well, we're going to look at one of these things. Oh! The war in Israel. Consider Hamas actions before backing ceasefire. The author of... It's the Baz. The Baz. The author of Tuesday's letter tells our state representatives to join our courageous Senate in urging President Biden to call for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. State House must back call for Gaza ceasefire site article March 28th. The justification offered is the humanitarian crisis and violence there. Justice, legitimacy, history, and ideology have no part to play. Senator Represent State's Representative David uh, Tarnas is criticized because he needs time to thoroughly investigate the implications of an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. His conclusion, in my opinion, must take into account that Hamas militants burned babies, raped grandmothers, and kidnapped children on October 7th, and they threatened to do worse. The author writes that silence is not an option. It is, however, much better than misguided individuals speaking out and our legislature rushing to bad judgment. Matthew Skang. Makiki talking in tutu voice. Well, thank you, Matthew. Talking in tutu voice. That's, that's, oops, oops. Talking in ghost tube voice. Well, um, Wait, yeah. Are you? <clears throat> okay. That is one very controversial issue. And I don't want to be too political taking sides, but hey, that stuff happened to Israel. Psychic. That stuff happened to Israel. Those guys have been in there, those that, that Islamic militant group have been in there. And they've been doing stuff to Israel. Living room. So Israel's trying to take care of its own. I mean, they invaded its own country and killed a bunch of people. And never mind this, like, they raped grandma and, and uh, burned babies. I mean, yeah, try to make it sound more horrible. I'm sure they might have done that stuff as well, for sure. But they kill a shitload of people in a freaking concert. And... And Israel, and they, it's like invaded the country to do that. And that they've always been a problem. Embedded, like surrounded by Fight. innocent civilians. These, you know, evil people are doing this stuff. That's all. Oh, you can't touch me. I'm next to the daycare center. They did that with all sorts of And that's how these Islamic terrorists work. They hide behind babies, human shields. And Israel's got to go in there, either do nothing or do something, and they're doing something. But that's their business in a whole lot of ways. And the U.S. should be supplying our allies with support of military stuff and all that. And, and it's like, yeah, you do what you got to do. People think in America, if we hold the purse strings, we hold the power. Yeah, physically, but not morally. <clears throat> you know, it's like, you know... Once they got the stuff, it's like you do, you know, what they do fit, what they see fit. And America's dictating their views on what they should do. Because, oh, it's bad to hurt civilians. Therefore, we're going to let 
terrorists overrun your country and want to destroy their country. They're surrounded by countries, surrounded by countries that want Israel eliminated off the map. So imagine, oh, we cease fire and then we let them gain strength and then all of a sudden it's like, let's take Israel and all its people off the map. That's what their ultimate goal is because they want to make a big Kayafat of Islamic, like the Ayatollah on top and Kayafat. Ooh, that's the leader of Islamic uh, Sunni or Shia, whatever. I don't know. Besides that, they burn babies and rape grandmas. <laughs> so what the hell? Anyways, uh, let's let Israel do it. There's like so much protest and it's going to be political against Biden. So now that's like, uh, just don't let our own self-made weirdo that's going to destroy America win. <laughs> Anyways, it's Monday. Have a happy Monday. Don't think of politics. Oh, oh, anyways, have a, oh, I have to cheat the transition. What the heck? Oh, what happened here? Uh oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Ready, set, go, okay. Um, what happened? Um, what did I do? What happened here? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this studio mode, oh. Flustered, huh? Anyways, I have a nice day. It's really good. Aloha to you.